Welcome to St. Catharines, Ontario, where this week, Canada's wheelchair basketball team trains for the Paralympics. This is a dream team with a huge legacy, two consecutive gold medals in Sydney and Athens. Next stop is Beijing. This week, the Mercer Report pulls up a chair and plays with the world's best. Okay, I'm now courtside with the coach of Canada's wheelchair basketball team, Jerry Tinello. Hello, Jerry, how are you? Hello, Rick. Now, this team is an incredible team. They're now the best team in the world. Uh, they are. And who's the big competition? Australia, United States, and uh, Great Britain. Oh, I see. And we're gonna beat all them? We sure are. And who are you playing tonight? There's a, a game tonight, right? Uh, Japan. What are they like? Japan is Shorter. A... Yes. <laughs> I guess that doesn't matter. Sure. No, it doesn't, because speed means a lot in our game. Right. And that's what you need the muscles for. Right. <laughs> I don't have them. You're out of luck there. Adam, is it? Yeah. Hi, Adam. Where are you yeah. from? Scarborough. Scarborough. Yeah. Very good. How long have you been on the team? Six years. Six. So you have a gold medal. I do. This is to keep your butt in the chair. Being strapped in is always a bad sign. Yeah. Is there an eject button? Whatever you do, don't stick your feet up. If your feet go out, boom, you oh. could, yeah, see that's... Right. You know, and then if So I, having feet is you, a disadvantage. If you, if you have your feet up and I tilt, and then come down. What are you doing that for? Well, just to make myself taller. You have your feet tucked in behind that, or well, you're... I have my feet sitting over at the sideline, actually. Your feet are over there. Yeah. I'm just having this conversation to delay actually trying to do anything. I know, you're scared. I'm <laughs> dear boy. How do you bounce a ball in this? There you are. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, that was bad. Oh, look at that, all the low 360. Well, no, I can't stop, I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's an interesting technique, I like that. Maybe some three-point shooting? No. Yeah. I can't do three-point shooting. No. We're gonna show you somebody who can. Hey, Dirt! How are you? Great, and you? Dave, is it? Yeah, Dave Durpo. Dave, where are you from, Dave? Fredericton, New Brunswick. Ah, very good, sir. Now, you're the three-point man? I've been known to shoot a few. It's pretty easy, I can do it uh, most times with my eyes closed, but you know. I like keep them open because everyone's sort of... Usually in TV, you know, you got to do that like seven times and then we cut it to make it look like you did it. You just did it like that. Yeah, well... Ten bucks eyes closed? Ten bucks eyes closed. Ten bucks eyes closed. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was eyes closed. You saw it. You saw that is amazing. It's crazy. It is. It's, it's crazy, rough. violent, And uh, they say, well, how do you guys not get hurt? Show me how to fall. You want me to show you? Sure, why not? Are you going to try it after? No. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. Come on. Oh, oh. Right. <laughs> How's that? How's good? How did I do? Any time now, you can get up. I'll get up. Just one second. I'll get up. Ah, hang on. No, no, I won't use the legs, because that would be cheating, and I would hate to cheat in a situation like this. I'm not going to die, am I? There. Yeah. I was very grateful. Now, was sports something that you, you did before you were... Did you have an accident? Yeah, I was in a car accident. Oh, okay. I was huge into sports before, so uh -huh. like two minutes after I got hurt and I realized I broke my back, I knew I wanted to get into something, so I started wheelchair basketball and never really looked back. Really? That's what you thought? Yeah. Well, I wanted to get in and compete with something. So there wasn't a period of time where you thought like, oh, this is it, I'll never be able to do sports again? No. If anything, sports was like the biggest thing that helped me through, you know, just to get out there and you could try 110% again and compete uh -huh. with the best in the world. And now you're going to the Olympics, maybe? Probably. Hopefully. Scrimmage! Ow! Good luck tonight. So what do you think of the game? 
I'm loving it. It's the first time I've seen it. So. Yeah, what about yourself? It's pretty intense. The intensity, it's crazy. Like, some guy did a flip at the end there. Let's he face just... it, if we were on the street and some dude was in a wheelchair and he went out, you'd go, oh my god, dude yeah. in a wheelchair is down. <laughs> but here we just go, oh, good yeah. one. <laughs> I played with him today. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. Awesome. And I'm still walking, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Did they knock you over, like in here? Yes. Multiple times, and they laughed. <laughs> I fell down, and they laughed. It was like it was like grade nine all over again. Ha ha ha! Look, he's hurt. Ha ha ha! And that is the Mercer Report from Brock University, proving once again that if I stay off the court, they can bring home the gold. And now I'm going to go ice everything except my ear.